kitty. And we're going to do the next step in creating your own paint by numbers from a photo. We're going to erase the background or any other unwanted parts. Now the first thing you need is some sort of image processing software. I'm going to use GIMP because it's free and it works on Mac, Linux, Windows. Chances are you'll be able to use it too. I have to be honest, GIMP is really frustrating for me because I'm a Photoshop user. But not everyone has Photoshop, so I'm just going to struggle along with this. Open up your photo in GIMP. I just dragged it over from an open folder. That's how fancy I am. First, I want to add an alpha channel. This is how you make the background transparent. You want the background to be transparent. If you don't, you'll get whatever background color you have in your palette, usually white or black. The background of this photo is pretty good. I don't have to remove it, but I think I will because I want to make it a bright color to match the beer Santa picture. In GIMP, this is the fast and pretty good way to do it. Use the Smart Selection tool with the scissors. This tool tries to match the curves of whatever you're selecting. It's decent here because the lines of the flowers are clear. If you're trying to cut somebody out of a fuzzy crowd scene, no way. To be safe, I'm doing small areas at a time, not trying to do the whole thing in one epic go. That usually doesn't work out so well. You can also do it the dead easy way with the eraser tool. This is what I end up doing in Photoshop, and it works fine. No fancy selection, just erase. So there you have it. That is all the tutorial for today. This is going to take you a while if you're not used to using this. Just go slow, work in small areas, and remember that undo key. Step one, get GIMP or Photoshop, or I'm sure there are other image processing software, maybe Microsoft Paint does it, I don't know, but GIMP is kind of universal, so we're going to go with that. And step two, open up your photo, create the alpha channel, make sure the background is going to be transparent when you erase it. And step three, remove the background with the fancy tool or just the eraser. Next up, we're going to look at reducing the detail of this photo to make paintable areas.